Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Devotional. I am Pastor Tammy, and I am looking forward to sharing with you today something that that God has laid on my heart, but we'll give it just a few minutes while we wait for everybody to join us. We're getting a little bit lazier in our schedule as quarantine goes on and on. And I actually just heard my kids start to wake up and now my dog wants to leave my room, but he's gonna be stuck in here. Good morning, Sharon Renwick. It is so good to see your name and your picture that pops up. Good morning, Darian. We're glad that you are here. I am looking forward to a little bit of Sunday today. I feel like it's always rainy on Wednesdays, and I know this because I always have the Wednesday devotional, and it's always when it is always rainy and dreary, but that's okay. Good morning, Lynette. I'm so glad you're here with us. It was nice to see you on Monday on Zoom. Good morning, Darian and Linda. Good to see you guys. Hey, I wanted to give you an update. If you've been tracking with us, since we started doing the daily devotionals, you know that my family started a thankful jar at the very beginning of quarantine. And not just your average thankful jar, we got like a Mongo faithful jar. So it's like this, I don't know, two and a half foot tall vase. And every night um, we go around the dinner table and say one thing we're thankful for, we write on a piece of paper, wad it up and throw it in there. And I just wanted to give you an update. Our thankful jar is almost full. Look at all of those things that have happened since we've been in quarantine that we are thankful for. So neighbors are on here. There's a lot of food that we've been thankful for in here. Um, All of my kids' names are in here. Um, Good weather is in here. Just so many things. Um, Family is in here. So many things that we have just taking the time to stop and count our blessings. And that's such an important thing to do. And so I encourage you, even you know, as we're looking towards the end of quarantine, to start writing down the things that you're thankful for. I think this is a tradition that we're gonna continue for a while, because it's just really sweet to hear my kids and my husband and myself um, verbalize what it is that they are thankful for in the way that God has blessed them particular day. So as I was thinking about what it was um, I wanted to share with you today, I was thinking about all of the daily devotionals that I have in my house. And I have gone through a lot of daily devotionals in my time. I have bookshelves filled with them. And, and, And while you might be seeing like pretty boxes and pictures behind me, actually behind those are stacks of books. This whole uh, armoire is filled with books and devotionals that I've read through. And obviously I like daily devotionals. I'm, I'm doing a daily devotional. There's a place and a purpose for these. But sometimes nothing beats just opening up your Bible and reading the Word of God. His word is alive and active, right? It's sharper than any double-edged sword. That's what scripture says. And so there's just something infinitely sweet about the word of God that you can't capture in a typical daily devotional. And so as I was thinking about the devotions that I really enjoyed the most, they were always the ones that were most rooted in scripture, the ones that spent the most time with the Word of God. So I thought today I would do something a little bit different, and I'm just going to read the Word of God to you. But I'm not going to read one specific passage. I've actually strung together verses from all over the Bible into one continuous message from God to you. Now, I know that that means that I've taken all of these verses out of their literary context. And and I've taken a lot of creative liberties, but I hope that you will be patient with me and and I hope that you'll forgive me for taking it out of that original context. Just sit back and hear the word of God. And if I'm not gonna read the specific references to you right now, but I'll go back in the comments later and I'll post those. So if there is one particular verse 
one particular phrase that sticks out to you and you're not sure where it comes from, you can go back and reference that. Good morning, Star. I am so excited to see your name that just popped up. Thank you for watching. She's one of my friends because our kids do all sorts of sports together and I miss sitting beside her in the bleachers right now, but that's okay. I'm glad you're here. So please just sit back, relax, maybe even close your eyes and let the word of God soak into your essence, the word of the Lord. I am the Lord, your God, your maker, who formed you from the womb. I am the Alpha and the Omega, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. I am the first and I am the last. There is no God but me. No God was formed before me, and there will be none after. I am Yahweh, and there is no other Savior but me. I alone declared, proclaimed, and saved. Heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. I have chosen you and not rejected you. I chose you before I formed you in the womb. I set you apart before you were born. I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Do not fear, for I am am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. As a mother comforts her son, so I will comfort you. See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. So keep your voice from weeping in your eyes from tears, for the reward of your work will come. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and future. I, Yahweh, have called you for a righteous purpose, and I will hold you by your hands. Look, I am about to do something new. Even now it is coming. Do you not see it? I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will remove your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh my spirit within you and cause you to follow my and carefully observe my ordinances. I will pour out my spirit on your descendants and my blessings on your offspring. Then you will call on me and find me. You will find me when you seek me with your whole heart. You will see. You will rejoice and you will flourish grass. I will show my holiness to those who are near me, and I will reveal my glory before all the people. Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. 
I am with you always to the very end of the age. You are precious in my sight and honored and I love you. Your father, Abba Daddy, God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, your word is true. And these promises that you have spoken over your people for thousands of years are true. And Lord, I ask, as these words go out, Lord, that you would help them to ring true in the very soul of the people who hear them. May they feel your profound love and your mercy and your plan for them. Heavenly Father, I thank you that we can turn to your unfailing truth and find comfort and security there. In your name we pray. Amen. I hope that God's word was soothing to you today. I would encourage you to, to go back and listen again to if there was a, a, a part that really spoke to you, if there was a part that was hard to hear, to just sit with that and ask God what it is that he wants to show you in that verse or in this section. And, and if you know of somebody who maybe needs this today, share it. Share this live feed on your own page and, and encourage your friends to watch it because this is the word of God. And it is true for all God's people. And he is continuing to pursue an entire nation right now. And so we want to share that message with others. Thank you so much for joining me today. Join us back here tomorrow at 10 a.m. for Daily Devotionals with Pastor Todd. I will be posting the references to those verses in the comment section. Um, and then on Sunday at 10 a.m., join us on Facebook Live or on YouTube for our Sunday worship service. We'll see you guys next week. Have a great day. Bye.